Welcome back, guys, to Tales of Exilia, where we've landed near to Fenmont, in between Fort Gandala, in fact, and Fenmont. Continue our infiltration on foot. Hopefully this way we don't make ourselves a scene, but first of all, we've made ourselves a master seamster somehow. Oh dear. Jude, your clothes are torn. Please, hold still for a moment. Be done in just a jiffy here. Wow, as good as new. Thanks. Nice job. Those are Jude's best clothes, you know. He spent days fretting over exactly what to get. He bought them for his move to Fenmont because he was terrified he'd look like a country bumpkin. Hmm. That's surprisingly adorable of you. Go right ahead. Blab all my secrets. That's a fine story. Please, take good care of them. How did you get to be so good at sewing, anyway? I learned it when I was in the military. Originally, it was just so I could sew up the lips of any of my men who leaked vital information. After that, I took up Needlepoint as a hobby. Yo, oh, that's such an embarrassing story, though. Let's keep that a secret between us. Mm-hmm. Guess that's one secret she won't spill. Just in case everyone else might just sew her up. Okay. Well, let's get exploring the world once more. Because we have ourselves some battle sequences, probably a lot of things to find along the way. Church chests and whatnot, we can hope for cool items. Like more mushroom powder, it comes in many climates. I could do with you getting good at sewing, actually. I've got some stuff <laughs> I could fix. I don't mind sewing that much. I could have did it in school. When you've got like the bad choices of what technologies you can take. But there's this. I, you're linking with Rowan, I'm linking with Elise. We've all switched round and got our partners ready, so let's actually link up with them. Hey. We've changed things around quite a bit, though. I think you've got a fair bit of leveling to do as well. Oh, I'm being a Reaver Dirty. In the back row over there. That guy's gonna have to get taken out. What was your crazy water bottle attack? I don't know. Expensive vase blast. I don't know what. I don't know if I'm doing with Elise, but we could just much through anyway. You can let go now. It's been a long time since Tipo has attacked me. But he is back. Right, Trio of Trees, no ivory treasure. I'm slightly disappointed. Wondering if we can find something like that around here. But first of all, should we find out more about Rowan's fears? Yes. Ah, what a relief. I should have known things would be fine at the manor. Yeah, Drissel really kept things together. Oh, I knew Lady Drissel would do fine. I have great faith in her strength of spirit. Then what were you so concerned about? I couldn't stop worrying that I had forgotten to shut off my bedroom lamp. You were that worried about a lamp? What if I had caused a fire? I couldn't get the thought out of my mind. I can relate to that. Once the worry sets in, it never leaves. Ever since I left home, I've been wondering if I remembered to close the lid on my bottle of dried gels. I certainly hope you did. Dried gels swell up and burst if they absorb too much moisture. Maybe I should send a letter home and ask Dad to check. We're on our way to pick a fight with a king, and this is what keeps you up at night? Hey, I don't think I can remember the last time I didn't have to go back to my car and check I locked it. <laughs> or made sure the windows were rolled up. <laughs> yes, Mr. Leave It Open for three days. It was fine! Cars were parked so near that no one dared to steal anything. Who could see that the window was open? I'm sorry, I apologise! Our neighbourhood is not exactly what you'd call secure, either. No, but <laughs> somehow lucked out. Somehow. I think it's because they probably looked in and felt sorry for me. She's got nothing worth stealing, even this car is falling to bits. <laughs> it was great, there was money on the dash and everything. Mm. It's a plain view, but no? What if they'd stolen my good luck charm Goku? Oh. <laughs> I'm expecting to find an ivory treasure down here somewhere. This is the way forward, I think, at the moment. Oh, no, it's a, it seems to be a separate pathway, to be honest. Ooh, secrets. No, I was expecting, yeah, I was expecting to find something like ivory treasure like round here. But mysterious beads and the whatnot are what we're finding instead. Should we check out what's down the less beaten path? Yes. Man, we're supposed to be infiltrating Fenmont, but now all of a sudden, where am I? Where are we going? Uh, we do have to look for secrets. I know we do, but well, we'll never be able to take on the King of Rashigal or wherever we're fighting. Nactigal? Yeah. Oh, what's going on over there? Chinese? A very lit up tree. Extremely lit up tree. <laughs> well, that looks weird. 
I'm slightly worrying like a gigantic sea monster is going to jump out at us from the water, but still. It's the Lord of the Sea. And there we go. Something nice to find, though. I can't walk past that tree for some reason. We've got it's ourselves some devil wings. A large pair of these will make you look cool. A smaller pair would make you look a little cute imp. I have an idea. You know who that has to go on. Little Miss Moany Pants. Little Miss Moany Pants. Let's put on the devil wings. She's going to end up looking cute rather than... Yes, know. I know. <laughs> Let's go for an encounter on a link type fight. Oh, what does that mean? Just more of them. Oh, okay. More experience, more bonuses from it. I wonder what kind of way I can trigger Elisa's skills with me. I remember we got the healing one with Ariva Dirty, was it not? But still. I found the one I can use with. Well, your cool water bottle beam. Yes. I'm hoping to figure out another one soon. To be honest, we seem to be able to tear through the enemies pretty fast anyway. Well, we've run out of food for the time being. There's a treasure chest up on high. Even great warriors can't fight on an empty stomach. Of course, nor are they very effective when they're drowsy after a big meal. Ruin always giving us lessons in the arts of war. As he does. Right, let's leave the spicy chicken roll and try to, like, get it for when a boss is coming. Okay. So we get a mass mat war like a Bakura or something. Use beef bowl large for now. Shiny tree, what on earth is going on with you? There's more than one. There's more than one shiny tree. So what's this way? Shiny tree land. Makes you wonder. There's a northwest region. Ah! This road seems to go on and on and on, and there's so many little bits of pieces. Shiny trees are very interesting, but there's also obvious treasure chest. And hopefully a big amount of gold so we can buy ourselves some more upgrade to beef bowls. Yeah, this game does require tons of money. It does. Well, it just seems that you can't really get that much money. 3,500 gold indeed. We'll take that. I know there was a tunnel to the side, but I'm just going to grab this and check out the corner in case of knife free treasure. Probably being chased by a million guys still. I have to wonder if they made the money hard to get so that you'd be more tempted to buy it on the downloadable, like, Sony store thing. I'm not really sure they do it for that reason, but... I mean, if you did buy one of the, the money amounts in the store, you would be able to buy a lot of stuff you wouldn't necessarily have really, really early, after all. Right, I'm getting tired of not being able to do any kind of synergy with you here, madame. They're weak to dark. I actually have a dark ability. If I can a attack them with it. I don't know if that scorpion is. No, he's no, weak he's to fire. To fire. Uh, you mean like that? Boom! So many weaknesses to check all the time. We're entitled Spirit Shift Master. Obviously, I've changed my spells up enough time now. It's a bit unfair, you can't really get your flash step or whatever you call it done that easily because it really is that kind of thing for a boss fight. Hmm. It's, I think it's probably a little bit easier to pull off in single player when the screen's not so busy. But, yeah. But it's fine. Alright, so where are we going now? We've got the central region, the northwest region, the b -b 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 region. Alright, we've moved back round to this side, which is the way we would naturally be heading. So should we check the north region first? Because it seems they don't join up. Yeah. Oh my goodness, so many... Who would have thought that the area before Fenmont would be so massive? I thought we'd just be moving on a screen and Bing Bang Bob's your uncle were there. Nope. No Bing Bang Orb. Oh! Oh, I thought that was a knife free treasure, but it's some someone's head walking into a tree. We'll take that instead. <laughs> Bloop. Bloop, you're just going to disconnect it. <laughs> yes. Just walk up gently and go, Bloop, take it off his shoulders and go, oh, I have a dose, I have a treasure. <laughs> Attach it to your body. <laughs> and it seems we got ourselves a very, very weird... Oh, no, it joins up as well to the next area. What on earth is going on? There's so many places to explore around Four. here. Oh, close. Oh, big... Wind spell coming through us there. I'm a bit stunned at the moment. I want to take out this castle that's right next to me. 
Over here. Okay. Bring forth the power hammers. They're flying around. They probably won't reach though. This is just the weirdest ability ever. It's not even gonna hit this mage guy. I can still do better. So that's the old abilities I know. So Reva Duchy is one, the Wind Blade is another. I know I could just check on the thing, but that seems like such a defeatist attitude to check <laughs> things. We got ourselves some more jetpack feathers. There seems to be quite a few in this area. I was expecting an ivory treasure out of a trio of trees. Still more treasure chests to find. More money, please. Marvel and gels. That's a single melange gel in that chest. A singular gel. And for 3,500 gold or something like that, because oh, we can buy more than one gel. Good. You give, us, give us some money. You seem disinclined to sell all the extras, though, because you're worried we might find the robot crab that will need <laughs> all our gels. We found ourselves another eye food treasure over here, though, picking it up. Uh, 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 check, check. There we go. We've got Skill Tome Warrior Above, a tome that grants Leia access to the Sky Soldier skill. What on earth have we just picked up? Alright, Leia, I know you're at the party right now, so you won't be able to use it either way, but Sky Soldier, when attacking in the air, damage dealt to enemies increases by 25%, and TP consumed decreases by 25%. How often does she attack in the air, though? Eh, not really at the moment, it seems. I mean, I'm gearing up to be able to do it. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of these things come into their own later on. Especially with a second orb opening. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're just about to open up even more craziness. Especially with the current aim being to defeat Nactagal. Uh, it's such a first half of the game aim. Yes. <laughs> it seems like we're about... The twist is coming, let's put it that way. There's gonna be some form of twist. He's 1, gonna gold is nice. We don't like he's doing all these evil things to stop some even bigger evil. Some poo like that. Troubles times. I don't like those times. But to be honest, I think I could probably get to my second orb right now. Go for it. Should we do some quick leveling up then? Sure. Well, let's get back to the Lillium Orb thing. We're still searching through for so much treasure. Why are there so many areas here? Let's do all the others automatically. I think there should be 9 GP for each person. Orb 3 opens up for Rowan as well. We may as well let them go straight onto Orb 2 when they do, because to be honest, it's just giving them tons of stats extra. Mm. And of course, you're going to Lillium Orb onto Orb 2 as well. Alvin is already on Orb 2. Look at the, like, instantly picking up loads of new abilities and stuff. But I need to go for this one here. The aerial jump is the most important one, because that will expand my orb completely. TP. A load of dexterity for the extra critical. Of course, I've always been more interested in the strength and the magic. Well, that'll open up Orb 2 for me. A new Lillium Orb has appeared. Press start to switch between the two. So what are we looking at here? Stuff like Cloud Pierce. A great leap into the heavens. Piercing any adversary that bars away. Big TP costs. Thunder Blade. Thunder Sharpen for the kill. Hold circle to cast it or release it early to execute a lightning attack. We've got Divine Streak. Divine Light of the Heavens. Hold circle to cast or release it early to use the Radiant Rondo Light attack. That sounds very interesting. Because that would be my first castable light spell apart from martial arts. But then there's always the strength and the whatnot <laughs> as well. Casting window. Linked arts can be initiated during the spell casting of a spirit art. Quick drop, stuff like that. Touchdown on land in an instance by pressing... Oh, okay, so I can, if I'm in the air, I can instantly hit the ground. Lots of crazy new stuff there. Shall I go for that? Go for the crazy new spell. Isn't it everything else? Have to get to expand your old jobbers anyway. So. Yeah. And uh, there's new art with Beast for you. And we never actually got the Adrenaline Rush, which was one of your main aims at the point in time. Yeah, so finish it off, yeah. Should we grab that? You always like your faster movement speeds and whatnot. We'll get Adrenaline Rush. Then we'll have to pick up our next art, I imagine. 
Mainly because we can get some more, well, HP and thing for only two points. To be honest, I don't want to. You don't want a new art? Um, because I'm already chocker. All of the slots available are filled. More strength? So if we go for expanding to the, into the next orb. Okay, so that, that would... Uh, actually, I think any skill can get us there, not just the arts. Okay. So, if we just take Dark Guard here... Yeah. You've already got the main one from this tier. We get Dark Guard. Now, surely there must be, like, an easier one to be able to pop straight into... Hmm... Or not. In fact, the, the next one, okay, the next yeah. easiest, you actually would open up the next orb if you got yeah. the new skill. Do that then. So that'll open up orb two for you. New art beast. Should we check out what you've got currently to get here? Savage Roar, an arcane art in which the user kicks skyward after a backflip and lands with a shockwave emitting impact. Hmm. Sounds flary. We got Dragon Shot, counters the enemy by dodging their attacks and launching them up with a powerful punch. What else have we got here? Mirage Blitz, a spinning step backward followed by a quick thrust. It pierces enemy defences when used in midair. Too many abilities. <laughs> Whirlwind Snap, a manoeuvre that pulls foes into the slicing winds of a spin kick. Not even distant foes are safe from its savagery with a wind element to it. Stuff to get, stuff to get. So, another season of levelling up done. Let's continue traversing these planes. Because there's so many areas to check and we picked up a fair few ivory treasures by doing it. Should we leave Fenmont to the next episode and head back towards the previous treasures? I know the viewers right now are probably like, No! Show us Fenmont! Stop the infiltration! Ah, we... uh, we've been there before. Huh? Is it me or did it suddenly get all dark? That's the night climb. We must be close to Fenmont. That's the truth of it. But I'm wondering how they installed all these sparkly trees in the meantime. They just get around like, oh, it's dark in our land. Should we install some sparkly trees? That sounds brilliant. Let's do that. It could just be more kind of climb magic nonsense. So trees evolve here to be light because it's so dark. Rubbish, rubbish. I don't doubt it. Probably is exactly that. Come on, Elise, let's beat this guy up. Oh yeah, just put Tifo's big bum on it. Fantastic. Fantastic, you say, but I'm not so sure about that. But a big hit, a big weakness hit, and you've got some level up as well, so you can get yourself some new art yet again. Oh no, new arts! Beast is usually a great one, though, if you want to put down enemies on their ass and just send them flying away. Beast is one of those staple arts of Tails. It's in pretty much every single Tails. In some way, strength performs strength plus two herb ain't bad. Of course, whenever we gain stats, we gain stats. For I suppose we also gain stats as well when we level up straight anyway. Oh, cool. So all the leveling stats aren't... Oh, what's over there? I definitely saw a check, didn't you? Yep. Dynamic oh, oh, I'm getting sent away here. Oh, 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 don't let me gel yourself and heal. Rude! Someone's trying to hit me in the back, but Elise is protecting me nicely. My sword rings true. And we'll break through. I'm just getting started. Well, everyone's leveling up yet again. I do love the fact that we've hit a period of time when we're getting GP plus five all of a sudden as well. A little bit extra for our trouble as we pick up bees nests, which is not really that advised. Let's put it that way. A treasure chest lying around. We'll grab that. The thing is, you've leveled up. You can literally get, like, an extra 100 strength right now. All the jimmies are beating you up. Ow! Where am I? I'm on the ground with Rowan. Let's bring forth the hammers. They're just gonna all land on their heads and stun them. Finally, a hammer ain't that worked. It does kind of like work better with Alvin's skills though, if you know what I mean. Age breeds greater experience. People like Al Alvin and Rowan, they have the more offensive type link arts. It works really well. With Elise, it feels a bit clunky. I'm obviously going to have to check out what ones I can do with her. And then work out how to bring the synergy forward. Otherwise, I'm never going to get to the link love thing with her. Stop jimmying everywhere! 
We need the gold, sir. Let us take it. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of enemies there. Oh, he's got it now. I can't chase him. Uh, magic emblem. Our attacks by 5%. That would not be bad for someone like Elise or Rowan. And it's only going to get better as the stats get bigger. Somehow I ended up on a back attack on that guy. Ow! Beat these guys up, finish them as an item use. Using the item on the on his friend there. Bring forth the hammers! And then you defeat the enemy before the hammers even. Aha! Hammer! Timmy mallet attack! <laughs> it is the special mallet attack, I love it! Just one more bow for another level up. Even more stats we'll be getting, oh my goodness. We probably be we're probably in really good shape for adding on, to be honest. It can't be that bad at all at the moment, but it seems we've farmed out all the treasures that are around. All the goodies of 3,000 gold extra. Another preemptive attack on these gafoons. Gafoons? Buffoons? <laughs> well, they're coming in quite nastily here. Cover me a bit better! That was the wrong spell. I meant to do my fire attack. We're just getting smashed up, but no, your super water bottle worked perfectly. And we'll take out the next one with level ups pretty much all around for our party yet again. And so, with all the treasures picked up, we'll head on to infiltrate Fenmont for the next episode. So join us for more Tales of Exilia then, and we'll see you guys around as we head into town. Bye-bye.